reason we have tried to take the linear shapes and we've tried to put them into fluid and uh, in a very soft way. So it's like the idea is bag within a bag and we have tried to establish that with products such as this one for example. As you can see there's a hard bag within the soft one and although you have a structure it looks as if it is very fluid and very soft. And this is, I think, a very unique uh, approach to design this season that we have taken. Yes, of course. I mean, uh, one of our biggest strengths is that we are a fully vertical company. So we have the tanner, we have the concheria. So we start the design with the leather first. First, we start designing the leather and then we take it and we put it into the product that we have in mind. So this way we can really create unique pieces and unique uh, craftsmanship in the final product that we have. Of course, Turkey is one of the cradles of civilizations and uh, the history goes back thousands of years with the uh, Troys, with the Ionians, uh, with the Hattites and all these ancient civilizations. And leather has always been a very important part of the culture. Uh, and over time this has become more modernized, uh, more new and more fashionable. And today it's uh, really molded into the final products that you're seeing here today. Many thanks. Thank you very much. Okay, for the collection for um, Dessa 1972, I was inspired by architecture and art. Um, we used um, very classic shapes with very soft materials, using reinforcements to create something that was uh, classic and modern into a softer hand this season. Um, for example, here we have a very clean shape with layers where the leather moves and it's soft to the touch, very tactile, has a softness and a structure at the same time. My favorite bag this season is the, is, uh, the diamond bag. It has a new shaped handle that's very architectural in shape. We have a deconstructed construction on the sides of the bag as well as the handle that gives something very classic, a modern touch. In the past, uh, Dessa has used a lot of this uh, shape here that resembles um, part of a uh, hexagon, which is a, a geometrical shape that they've used for the past three years in their collection. So I put this back into the shape, a very classic bag, and given it a round flap to, to speak about the changes happening here, of the, the once more classic rigid shapes and coming into a softer, um, more friendly um, line. primary colors. Yeah, the primary colors are inspired even from uh, the resort season. We saw a lot of uh, inspiration uh, from Bauhaus movement. So primary colors uh, create contrast. So when you put them together with um, their contrasting color, it creates more an impact. And our, even our most famous and well-known artists throughout history, when they would paint, they would use this trick, so to speak, to create impact and to leave a memory it's actually more beautiful when you see, you would never imagine green and red looking good together. You think of Christmas, I don't want to look like Christmas. But in fact, in reality, having that contrast gives more of an impact. It's, I started in May this year, but I met, um, I met the uh, Select family, actually, I knew about the Select family from years and years ago when I lived in New York. And they were producing for some of the other designers in New York, and uh, they had a, an office in the Empire State Building. So I was working for Donna Karen, and I remember running uh, specs down, specification sheets down to their offices so they could produce belts for us. So I knew about Dessa for a long time. So I know that their workmanship and their history is very actual and very real because I knew about them. So it was a pleasure to um, hear from them and to, and to work for them. It's an honor because they have so much experience 
in in making bags and leather products in leather, um, and uh, we we had met um, before I had started working for them, but um, we reconnected. He was looking for something a little bit more glamorous, so to speak. It's not really maybe the right word, but something more. Um, Maybe something more feminine, a little bit more feminine than, than what we've done in the past, um, more colorful, um, and with maybe more original detailing, something iconic for the brand. Mm -hmm.